Today, November 9th, is the Feast of the Dedication of St. John Lateran. You may think that the principal church in Rome is St. Peter's. It certainly gets all the attention and its beauty and its size and its burial place of St. Peter certainly gains a uh, tremendous popularity. But the true mother church of Rome, which makes it the mother church of the universal church, is St. John Lateran, not too far from St. Peter's, but one of the four principal basilicas in Rome. It's the cathedral church of the Pope. And when a new pope is elected, there's something not quite official about his papacy until he goes and sits on the cathedra in St. John Cathedral and kind of takes ownership of that church um, as his role as Bishop of Rome. So it gives us today pause to ponder the beauty of the church, of the identity and the mission of the church. Many people today would um, certainly say that you can have Christ without the church. You know, yes to Jesus, no to the church. Yes to spirituality, no to religion. Church is too much baggage, too much weighty history, too many things that some disagree with. It, let's just jettison the church. We'll just hang on to Jesus and, and the scriptures. For us as Catholics, it's always a both and. So we can't have Jesus without the church as assuredly as we can't have the church without Jesus. And it's telling when Saul on the road to Damascus um, hears the voice of Christ challenging his persecution of Christians. What Jesus says to him is not, why are you picking on my friends? You know, why are you attacking my followers? Why are you persecuting my church? He says, why are you persecuting me? So in that moment, Jesus himself identifies with the church. And so what is the church? Who is the church? The church is the body of Christ. The church is the bride of Christ. And we compose um, as members of that mystical body of Christ, extended through time and space until the end of the world. And so the mission of the church is to proclaim the gospel, to celebrate the sacraments, and to shepherd God's people. It isn't so much that the church has a mission as it is that the mission of Jesus has a church. So Jesus founded the church on the rock of the apostles' faith so that his mission, his work of salvation would continue throughout the world until the end of time. So there's something radically missionary about our Catholicism. We can't just keep the faith to ourselves, but if we truly take seriously the words of Jesus' great commission, go make disciples, go proclaim the gospel. When we do those things, we are most profoundly living the identity and mission of the church as the body of Christ. And so our Go Make Disciples initiative is really that effort on our part to renew ourselves in the mission of the church and in our identity as members of the mystical body of Christ. When Joan of Arc was at her heresy trial, one of the trick questions that her inquisitors asked her was to explain uh, the connection between Jesus and the church. Here's a 19-year-old young woman, illiterate, completely untrained in theology, facing 30 doctors of theology from the University of Paris. So when she was asked that question, she thought about it for a minute, and she said, I don't know theology, but the way it seems to me is that Jesus and the church are one and the same. And beautiful, perfect, simple answer from someone who is a saint and who is um, mystically infused with, with divine wisdom. We can certainly follow her example in realizing we can't have Jesus without the church. And we love the church because she is one holy Catholic apostolic. Not holy because we're so great, holy because the Lord has infused her with his grace. And she is our mother and gives birth to us in baptism, feeds us to the Eucharist, and loves us even into eternal life.